All right, guys, what's going on? This is Kevin, the Full Metal Ginger, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do an unboxing today. It's been a real long time since I've done one. Um, it's not a grab bag or anything. I know everything that's in it. I just kind of wanted to do it unboxing style, just for the hell of it. Uh, before we get into that, uh, a week ago, maybe, yeah, I think a week ago, I got a new phone. So uh, yeah, I should be uh, shooting on this very soon, all my videos. Uh, the reason I'm not yet is because <coughs> when I left the store, uh, got home and realized they didn't even give me a USB cable to fit with the computer, so all I have is a charger. That makes a lot of sense. So, uh, yeah, hopefully within the next video or two I'll be doing that. And, uh, let's cross our fingers that it improves our quality of video and audio and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, be looking for that. And, uh, if I can find a reliable, easy to use, uh, free download of editing software, I'm gonna start doing that. I got a few ideas I wanna do. Uh, just nothing really major, just some kind of storytelling and things of like that, but it will fall under, you know, everything we do on this channel, so. So let's get into her, uh, listening to, uh, Satyricon, Now Diabolical. Uh, it's really just, I don't know, Satyricon took me a while to hit with me, and I actually hated this album when I first got it. I got it, just, uh, hell with it, let's try to get into Satyricon. Uh, but it's growing on me a little bit, and, uh, I'm starting to kind of come around. Be that as it may, so. Uh, it's an unboxing from, uh, Hell's Headbangers. Um, cheap and broke right now, so I had to get a bunch of tapes, which is cool with me. Uh, these are just albums that I've been missing out on. Uh, just been meaning to get around to getting it. I just haven't yet, so it's kind of nice to get these out of the way. I really wanted to get um, get them on vinyl. <coughs> Excuse me. I think all but one of them actually has a vinyl release. So yeah, but whatever. At least I have it. I don't care. Media is media, and as long as I have it. You guys always open with them fucking little bitch knives. <clears throat> There's mine. This is probably gonna not work, but you gotta do it man style. Get in there and really uh, kill it. All right, that's good enough. I'm not gonna fuck this shit up. Uh, yeah, as I said, everything comes on Hell's Headbangers, so we'll get in here and take a gander. Everything on cassette. All right, we'll just start with this one. I know I talk about this band all the time. I try not to bore you guys to tears with it, uh, but it's a band I'm really, really into. I need to pick up some more of their releases. Uh, this is actually their debut full length. Uh, I have their second full length, and everything else is like demos, EPs, things of that nature. But I'm telling you guys, man, you gotta get into this band. Uh, this is uh, Naderath with Nihilistic Stitch. Just some amazing black metal out of Greece. Athens, Greece, actually. Uh, this one was originally released on Morbund. Uh, I'm not seeing... Oh, this is the uh, Wolfsvier, I guess, records version, which came out around... Let's see, this originally came out in 2011, so this has got to be the 2012-13 release. Uh, it's actually limited. 42 of, fuck, 100? So I got lucky there. I didn't know it was limited to that much. Of course, there are other copies of it, too, on Moribund, and I think another company, I want to say, Drakar didn't do it, as far as I'm aware. They're uh, on Drakar Productions now. I know they didn't put it out, at least on cassette, so maybe this is limited, just for that reason. Uh, it just comes on black tape. Uh, see if I can pop this fucker open. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Uh, I shouldn't have torn that sleeve, but F it. Yeah, damn, no label on it whatsoever. Here's the cool thing, it does come with a sticker. Uh, may find something for that, I don't know. Let's check out the J card here. A lot more detailed than the freaking uh, Circle of Past CD I have. It's just, you open up the book and it says, recorded here, and that's really about it. There's the band. Uh, this is cool fucking, it says black metal, propaganda, against all. I love little things like that in the fucking albums. Uh, but yeah, I, I know I say this all the time, but you guys really need to check out Nader Rath. I've really good, been getting into them for a good six, seven, eight months. Really killer band. And it's black metal in the vein of sort of Watanish, but they kind of have their own vibe. It's just in that, you know, it's not... The raw kind of black metal, it's not the traditional sounding black metal, it's more of the Swedish 
style is retained as a sense. There's a Naderath nihilistic stitch. Next up, an album I've been wanting for a long time, and this is so cool, and I'm so glad I got this on the tape now that I'm looking at it. I'll probably still pick this up on vinyl at some point, and I wish I had them already, but this is really kick-ass shit. Um, I saw them on the Hell's Head Bash DVD, but I was already into them before that, and seeing them on that just solidified it. I was like, why have I not picked this up yet? Anyway, this is uh, Bone Hunter Evil Triumphs again. Comes on a beautiful green tape, man. That thing looks cool as shit. Uh, let's say Thrash Punk Band from, uh, I want to, fuck, help me out, fucking Plague Wilder, uh, Ulu, Finland? I guess that's how you pronounce it, man. I'm not European, so. Uh, this is actually their debut from 2015. This is the only full-length album they have, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, they've got EPs and live albums and demos, all kinds of shit like that. This is their only full week. And I don't know why I was thinking uh, Turn Up the Evil was on here. And I wish I had researched it beforehand because I was getting all excited. But, yeah, I'll have to pick up the demo of it. Look at that, man. That is fucking cool as shit. Uh, but, yeah, as I said, a thrash punk band. Very energetic, very exciting, very fun to listen to. And this ought to sum it up perfectly right there. It says, play it loud. That's fucking killer, dude. Uh, let's see if I can pull out the J-card. I'm about to stab my weenie with this. Don't play with knives. Yeah, there's the band. How metal is that? And, uh, I was actually talking to a death metal fan the other night. I was telling him, you know, about, really, I would like to get a, uh, Castlevania-style tattoo, like, at least with the castle. You know, just kind of, but yeah, it's kind of weird that that's on here. That's the kind of tattoo I'm looking for in terms of castles. But yeah, man, super fun to listen to. Very energetic. Very just get you in the mood to fucking fuck shit up. You know what I mean? Uh, that's Bone Hunter. Evil Triumphs again. So glad I went tapes with this shit, dude. Uh, this one is something really cool, too. And I wish I had picked this up a little earlier. This has been out. Yeah, this has been out since 2015, so I'm, every one of these is fucking shit I should have had already, so I'm definitely late to the party. Uh, fuck, so I'm glad to have this, definitely. This is Gouge with Beyond Death. Oh, dude, fucking death, two-man death metal out of Norway. You've got that dirty lo-fi kind of sound, like the autopsy type of sound with old school, you know, just, I don't want to say cannibal, but... Just that old, dirty kind of production on some death metal, man. It fucking works so well. Uh, this is their debut full length, as I said. I think it's... Yeah, the only other release they have is a demo. And what was the name of that demo? No, it's an EP. It was uh, Doomed to Death. I uh, couldn't tell you when that came out. It came out before this, as far as I'm aware. Uh, the band's not been around very long. I think they formed maybe 2012, 2011, something like that. So, yeah, they've not been around all that long. Uh, yeah, I would liken them to like a, um, I really hate to say autopsy, but autopsy in terms of production, but they're really more like master. Just the purest of old school sound. Comes on a nice red fucking tape. Plain and simple, baby. Uh, just, yeah, the lo-fi stuff is what I really like. Um... I was planning on doing a production type of video. Does it really matter? Yes and no. I mean, I like Deicide on Once Upon the Cro or, Yeah, Once Upon the Cross is just produced through the roof. But I mean, it sounds so killer. But then I can turn around and listen to this old school, dirty, lo-fi, low-tech shit. It just sounds even better or just as good. It just depends on the band. I love these type of J cards, man. It just looks like it was all printed on the... Uh, if you know what I'm saying. It's the old school type of vibe with it. I swear, man, I have so much shit I want to say about these bands, and then I get on here and start talking about it, and I just completely fuck it up. As I said, two members. Uh, you got Christopher. Uh, does all the stringed instruments and the vocals, and Herman does the drums. So there's that, man. Uh, I haven't listened to this a buttload, but I'm really going to be playing this one for sure. But definitely late to the party, because... I've given this probably three or four good listens, and it gets even better every time I listen to it. And last one, unfortunately. 
This is one that, goddamn, everyone's fucking talked about from here to the fucking moon. And uh, this is a band that maybe it was just the bandwagon issue of it, or maybe it was just there was just something about it I couldn't really get into right off the bat. This took me several listens before I decided, hell, this is fucking really killer. And uh, you guys can shit all over me all you want, I don't care. But this is a uh, embalmer, emanations from the crypt. Couldn't get it on vinyl, but what are you gonna do? I'm poor and broke. Uh, this being a band that, god damn it, been around near on 30 years, this is only their third full length. Now, granted, they've taken breaks and been on hiatus and whatnot, so can't follow them too much, but tons of fucking back catalog in their discography. This J card is huge. There be the band and all that jazz. Uh, this is their debut from last year. Debut. The third full length, and this came out last year. There we go. Uh, I didn't want to talk too terrible much about this, just where everyone's been showing this lately. But they ain't been showing it on tape, by God. Yeah, good old U.S. death metal, man. Been around a long time, they know what they're doing. Sound killer as shit. Uh, it was actually probably around the fifth or sixth time I tried to listen to this, it started to click a little bit. And then, I, again, I saw them on the Hell's Head Bash DVD, and it was just like, wow, what the fuck? Why did this not click for me? I don't know. I'm an idiot. Emanations from the Crypt. There we go. So that be it, folks. i uh, got a ton of shit to listen to. Really, really happy about this. Got a lot of great colors. This looks really good. And uh, some high-quality tunes here. So... If you're an idiot like I was, stop being one and go pick this shit up, man, because this stuff is awesome. And uh, pretty sure the Nader Rath one's the only one without the uh, vinyl release. I could be wrong about that, but there it is. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll try to have something with a little more interest going on next time. And until next time, man, send me those likes, send me those comments, subscribe if you haven't, and keep supporting extreme fucking metal.